Hello gorgeous soul friends, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Hannah, welcome to my channel. And it's such an honor to be a part of your wondrous earth experience today. So if you hear some voices through the wall, like muffled talking, my boyfriend's on a business call, so you can just like ignore that. <laughs> uh, but this video is going to be about 2023 and the events that are going to be transpiring this year on a global scale, but specifically things that affect the US and impact the US directly. Um, because I'm a US resident and so are most of my subscribers. So um, there's going to be a heavy emphasis on the United States events and kind of like what's going to be happening in our country. Um, but, you know, there are going to be things that happen globally that are going to impact the US. So I will be picking up those things, too. I already have some things that I've channeled here for the past like six months to a year. Like I've kind of just compiled all of these different visions and channelings that I've received in meditation. Um, and I've typed those out and I'll also be using the tarot cards to kind of further um, give you a clear picture of what to expect this year and what you can anticipate. Um, because we are on the precipice of the collapse of Western civilization, as many of you who are spiritually in tune already know, we are paralleling a lot of the events that transpired during the fall of Rome, the Roman Empire. This year is going to be one of the most pivotal years of the decade, if not the whole century. Um, there's going to be a lot of stuff that happens this year that sets the tone for the way the rest of the decade transpires. Um, and one of the biggest things that I've picked up is that there's going to be a huge rise in minimalism. Like minimalism is going to be all the rage in pop culture um, and it's going to be directly connected to the scarcity propaganda, right? Like this whole scarcity narrative that the media has been pushing. It's going to create this popularity around minimalism and simplicity and consuming less and using less um, and, and all of that stuff. Less is more in 2023 and, and beyond. This is going to kind of continue into like the mid 2020s. Like I think we're gonna to continue to see this kind of minimalist um, trend up until about maybe 2025 or 2026. This is gonna be very, very popular. Um, and I think it's gonna peak around 2024, maybe early 2025, but we are gonna kind of start to see the rise of this in 2023. Um, and this is going to be, um, this is going to be reflected in our fashion trends, in our interior design trends, all of that stuff. It's going to be popular to kind of wear dainty clothing and accessories, you know, less is more again. So it's going to be trendy to consume less and to not be so frou-frou and like flair oriented. Um, you know, dainty minimalist accessories and fashion choices are going to be all the rave. In 2023 especially late 2023 we're really gonna start to see this hit the the pop culture scene um, so you know expect fashion trends in 2023 to consist of neutral tones whites blacks you know the, all of the neutral colors maybe even some earthy tones here and there like greens and dark blues and stuff but it's mainly going to be very very minimalist and earthy and simplistic um, we're also going to see a modest trend rising in 2023 and I think this is going to take the whole of the 2020s the whole decade by storm this whole modesty movement because everything has been so over sexualized that I think people are getting really tired of that it's kind of becoming boring <laughs> um, so it's going to be more trendy to, to kind of show less um, to not be so sexually expressive overtly like it's going to be kind of more popular to wear a little bit more coverage you know what i mean like we're not going to see people showing so much skin like content and clothing and all of that stuff isn't going to be so sexualized like things are going to be more um prim and proper i guess you could say um and and again it's because i think subconsciously people are really tired of everything being over sexualized and like sex is just like thrown in our face like everywhere we look um, so there is going to be this kind of rise in minimalism and modesty specifically because of these two things, because of the scarcity agenda and because of the over-sexualization of everything. We're going to kind of, you know, the pendulum is going to kind of swing in the other direction. So, you know, modesty is going to be a popular fashion trend for the decade of the 2020s and it's going to really start this year. We're going to start to kind of see those themes popping up um, within pop culture trends and specifically within fashion and beauty. Um, and it's going, again, it's going to be caused by the media pushing this whole scarcity propaganda. Um, it'll be trendy to consume less, to use less, and, you know, all of the PC people are going to want to conform because everybody else is doing it. And it may get to the point where people get cancelled for wearing too much or for consuming from certain companies. 
Um, you know, cancel culture is far from deteriorating. It's gonna be with us for a while, so that's not going away anytime soon. But um, we are going to see two becoming one this year, and this will possibly happen sometime in like, maybe at the very tail end of January, beginning of February, we're gonna kind of see one nation overtake another. So, you know, maybe two massive corporations will become one, maybe one country will take over another. Um, I think Amazon is going to merge with another mega corporation this year, like kind of like how it did with Whole Foods, like Amazon might take over another corporation like that and become one with them. Um, there may also be a pretty big celebrity wedding that happens like at the end of the month, uh, maybe beginning of February. Like it just seems like two really powerful things are coming together as one. Um, so that could be corporate, that could be countrywide, that could be marriage-wise, you know, it could be anything. But I do see this energy of two things merging and becoming one. Um, again, I do believe Amazon is going to buy out a mega corporation this year, like another really, really, really big corporation. Like it might buy out like Walmart or it might buy out like Target or something like that. You know what I mean? It's, it's going to be one of those things where Amazon is going to continue to try to be kind of like the one <laughs> source of consumption for everybody and for everything. Um, so they're going to kind of try to buy out or they're going to buy out another company. And it's actually going to be, um, you know, it's, it's gonna kind of be perceivingly good, like on the, like overtly, it's gonna be presented as like this really great thing. Like, oh my God, Amazon's buying Target. Like, oh my God, wow, we're gonna have all of these extra products. It's gonna be all of this new stuff, whatever. Um, or, oh my God, this one country is gonna take over another. Like now we're gonna have our borders expanded or, or whatever, right? Like we'll be able to go to new places it's gonna kind of be presented as like this good thing. Oh, this needs to happen. Oh, this country is taking over this other country because this needs to happen. They need us. They need that country. Um, you know, this, this corporation needs the other corporation. Um, the celebrity wedding is happening because one of them needs the other. You know, it feels like it, it's kind of a forced coming together um, as opposed to something that is desired by all parties. Um, you know, and it may cause a great many to lose their job Refugees may flee to neighboring nations, like if this is a country that takes over another country, like there may be a massive res refugee crisis that we see in 2023. Um, in fact, we're going to see one of the biggest refugee crises in history, and it's probably going to directly impact the US. Um, and I do believe this will happen around like March to July. We're going to kind of see a lot of refugees coming to the US, um, and these refugees will have to cross the ocean in order to get to their destination and it will be a result of this overtaking. So there's going to be a country that overtakes another and it's gonna create this huge refugee crisis. Um, and you know, there's also going to be some kind of mega corporation that buys out another mega corporation. I really think it's Amazon, I really do. Um, and this is going to possibly cause a bunch of people to lose their jobs or something like that. Like there's going to be kind of a, like it's, it's gonna be a little bit of a problem. Like people are gonna be kind of upset about this um, even though it's being presented as like this good thing. And I firmly believe that this will happen around the time that Pluto, the planet of death and transformation, enters the sign of Aquarius on March 23rd. So from March to July, like we could see there's, there's like this massive, massive like flooding of people who don't have jobs because they get fired from this corporation or something like that because one corporation buys out another. Or we could see this massive refugee crisis because one uh, country takes another over. Um, so simultaneously, there's going to be an event related to the unveiling of secret source funds. And this unveiling could completely change the way our financial system runs. Like, whatever this event is, it completely turns the tables for the financial system. And it, and it turns the tables of something universal. Um, and this could also be an event where a high profile woman is exposed for hiring hitmen, exposed for murder. Um, I picked up a woman who was of high profile, high status, like a celebrity or a politician or something like that. It's going to be exposed in the year of 2023 um, for murder through hiring hitmen, charging people to, or paying people to kill other people. Um, and this will be revealed through text messages. She also has a co-conspirator. There are two high profile women involved in a murder and this will be revealed in May. Um, so there is something really big that's gonna be happening in May um, as far as like what we can see um, related to this murder. Like somebody's getting exposed. 
and somebody's getting exposed for murder. And it's, it's two people, like there's two co-conspirators, they're both women, they're both very high profile, like we all know who these people are. Like this is somebody very famous, um, somebody very high profile, this could be, you know, like a CEO, this could be a celebrity, like I said, a politician, but there is going to be two high profile women that get exposed, um, and I think one of them is gonna get exposed first, and then the other is going to get exposed. So it might be, now this is very specific, but it might be where the co-conspirator goes and rats out the one who gets exposed first. And through ratting out her co-conspirator, she kind of rats herself out. So that's, that's what we're gonna see. We're gonna see two women get revealed through text messages to be murderers because they hired hitmen on maybe other high profile people. So in May, we're also going to see this kind of justice for the lower class type of thing. Um, and there's going to be this push within our policies. And this could be some kind of debt forgiveness. Um, and, you know, actually, uh, who is it? Really graceful. I'll link her, her channel down below. She's kind of like a great alternative media outlet. Like she kind of goes and analyzes a lot of the bullshit within the media and a lot of the things that they blatantly lie to us about <laughs> and kind of expose it. So, She's a really great source of information. She actually did her own prediction for 2023 and kind of like what she thinks is gonna happen this year. And one of the things that I actually disagreed with was she said that student loan forgiveness is not gonna happen this year. But I actually think that there is going to be some kind of debt forgiveness that happens this year. And I think it's going to be um, a, a tactic to kind of get people wrapped in or locked into something. Um, almost like a bribe in a way. It's like, oh, you know, we, we'll give you another stimulus check. Like, I feel like there's gonna be some sort of stimulus check that happens again in 2023. Like, we're going to possibly see um, stimulus checks or some kind of debt forgiveness. And this move is really gonna divide people and it's 100% a publicity stunt. That's all I'm gonna say. Whatever this debt forgiveness is or whatever this justice for the lower class is, um, it's going to be a publicity stunt. It's going to be a way to hook people in, you know, so that they feel compassion for, <laughs> let's be honest, the fucking totalitarian overlords that rule us, right? Because that's what they are. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about us, okay? They give a fuck about the money in their pockets, okay? Um, that's all I'm going to say about that. But whatever this publicity stunt is, whatever this debt forgiveness or stimulus check type of scenario is, it's going to further damage the economy. But this is all a massive scheme, right? This is all a massive plan um, because it will create incentives to push universal digital currency. Yep, that's right, folks. A universal digital coin is going to hit the scene in 2023. And people are going to be subliminally pushed to get into the digital finance movement. Um, and this is going to happen through mainstream news. It's already happening, guys. We've already seen all of this stuff with FTX. Um, we're already kind of seeing this whole XRP thing, you know, hit the mainstream media. So it's already happening. Like, we're already seeing the priming for this universal digital coin, right? But this is not DeFi, right? This is not decentralized finance, like, or the original concept of crypto. It was supposed to be a de decentralized thing. They are taking it. They are taking that concept and, and centralizing it. So there is going to be a universal centralized digital coin that comes out in 2023. It is hitting the market, it is hitting us, um, and we are going to be incentivized to get on this digital currency. That might be through UBI, universal based income, I'm not quite sure. But we're already kind of seeing the mainstream news and the mainstream media push this agenda. FTX, right? They're already kind of trying to discredit the, dis the decentralized finance movement. Um, through having these scams come up with FTX, you know, they're saying like, oh, well, crypto's a scam, you can get scammed in crypto and blah, blah, blah. This is all planned. Like, this is all completely and totally, um, it's a scheme. It's a scheme to get people away and to scare people away from the decentralized finance movement and keep them on a centralized currency. Um, there's also, you know, popular shows like My Unorthodox Life are talking about building NFT and metaverse projects. Like, it's here. It's here, guys. Anybody who is saying that, you know, Web3 and crypto are dead couldn't be more wrong. Um, it's only the beginning. And we're going to witness one of the biggest financial shifts in human history um, this year and in 2024. In 2023 and over the course of 2024, we are going to see the world shift from a monetary currency to a digital 
universal based currency. It's like this isn't something that's like far-fetched or you know it's all fake and it's, it's a bunch of bullshit like Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, all of that, that's digital finance. It's here, we're already using it, all they gotta do is just shift the currency and that's what they're gonna do. They're completely decimating the dollar and completely decimating all of these relatively tangible currencies, right? Because even all of those are made up, right? Like the dollar is just a piece of paper. Um, right now it's just a, a piece of plastic, your credit card or your debit card, right? Like it's, it's literally just a piece of plastic or a piece of paper that determines value. So it's already fake, but they're gonna make it even less tangible. <laughs> it's already becoming less tangible so that you have less control over your freedom. Um, and I personally have mixed feelings about the decentralized finance movement. I think it's a great avenue for getting out of the system and for freeing yourself. Investing digital coin into tangible assets like property, land, um, you know, food, and just your overall freedom is a great way to do it. Like most people are already initiating digital transactions on a computer every day. Like I was saying, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App, all of that stuff, we're already on digital finance. Like it's real, it's here. Um, my problem with the decentralized finance movement is that anything on a computer can be compromised. I don't give a fuck about this whole like access code and like everything is encrypted. Like if it's on a computer, it is compromisable. You know, it's just anybody who has the hacking skills, they may not have that right now because it's still so new, but the longer this becomes implemented and the more regular this becomes, people are going to work around the system. They're going to learn, right? That is my problem with DeFi. Anything that's on a computer can be compromised. Okay, so just keep that in mind, guys. It's a great way to escape the system. It's not something to rely upon for a very long time um, because there are a lot of downsides to having a centralized digital currency. Okay, um, and, I, and I think for a lot of people, I, I really think, this is just my personal opinion. I don't really know if this is gonna happen specifically like this year, but I do think there is going to be some sort of incentive to get onto this universal income. Um, I think they're going to instill some sort of UBI, some kind of universal based income to push people to get onto whatever this currency is. But the thing is, is a lot of people don't read the fine print, right? A lot of people don't read the terms and conditions when it comes to these contracts. So people are literally going to sign their rights away because the government's going to tell them like, oh, We've got your universal based income right here. Just sign your name right here. We'll get you an account set up and you'll have all your money. You'll get a check every month and, and whatever. But what people aren't going to understand is that when they sign their name on that paper, yeah, they'll get their universal based income, their check every month, but there's going to be, um, it's going to be at a cost. There's a really great point that's made in the social dilemma. Um, one of the guys on the, on the documentary says, if you're getting something for free, then you are the commodity. Okay, let that sink in for a second. When you're getting something for free, it's because you are the commodity. And I don't know if it's going to be this whole XRP thing. I, I'm not quite sure. I don't know. But whenever it hits the market, because it is, whenever it hits the mainstream, make sure you read those fucking terms and conditions before you sign anything. Okay, that's all I'm going to say on that. Um, so, you know, 2023 and 2024 and maybe even the beginning of 2025 are going to be um, some of the biggest years for a financial shift. This isn't going to be like an overnight thing. This is going to be something that steadily occurs over the course of a couple of years. Okay, so it's going to be a slow conditioning that we have. So in the middle of the year, there's going to be this show of power by the United States. Um, but it won't be in a malefic or threatening kind of way. It's going to be more in a way that something kind or generous is done. So the U.S. is going to do something kind or generous for maybe another country, um, some kind of nation, as a way of displaying power. Because the U.S. is crumbling, right? Like, we all know that, especially those of us who are deeply connected to our intuition know that the United States as a nation, as a world superpower, is crumbling. That's one thing that I have been consistently receiving since 2020, is that the United States time as a world superpower is over. So there is going to be this kind of last show of power. Like the US is kind of desperately attempting to show its power to the world. And I think that's whatever, that's what this is. That's whatever this event is. It's gonna be this kind of like desperate show of power. Like, oh yeah, look at us. Like we still have it in gear guys. We still got it going. You know, like it's, it's kind of like that meme, like where the house is on fire and that dog is just sitting in the chair and he's like, I'm fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. 
You know, like that's that's kind of what this is. Um, there's going to be some sort of show of power by the United States, but it won't be malefic. It's not going to be like a war threat or any kind of thing. It's going to be something kind that's done um, as a way to display power. Now, during this time, there will also be a huge opportunity for people under the poverty line to climb the ladder. Right? And I think this is going to directly connect to whatever this digital currency movement is. Um, a lot of people are going to become very wealthy in 2023, specifically in the summer of 2023. And what's interesting about this is in my personal life reading that I did for 2023, um, I picked up a message about something happening at the end of July, early August um, that would put a great many people in a place of security, a place of financial security. So go watch that reading if you haven't already. Um, I talk a little bit more about that there. But I did pick something about that up in the personal life reading too, so that was just confirmation. I really think there's gonna be something in July that happens that puts a lot of people up in, in finances. There's gonna be some kind of boost, but it's going to be for people who were already engaging in whatever this is. So it might be some kind of investment that pops off, like something might like boom all of a sudden, like there might be an industry that booms all of a sudden. But whatever this is, a lot of people are already on the rocket ship, right? And this rocket ship's about to take off. So this is something that a lot of people were already invested in or they were already putting their energy into and it just pops off in July. So there's something that is going to happen in July that is going to really, really, really take the world by storm, specifically people who are under the poverty line. Like people are getting rich in 2023, in the summer of 2023. So play your cards right, guys. Like really get into investing if you haven't already. Like start investing in tangible assets. Start investing in things that you intuitively feel are going to put you above the poverty line if you haven't already. And you'll know, like, everybody's different. Everybody feels called to invest in different things. Like, trust your intuition. You're probably right. <laughs> so, in August, there's going to be this large-scale mourning um, because there's going to be a leader that steps down from power. There's gonna be some kind of world leader that steps down. It could even possibly be the passing of a world leader. So we're gonna see some kind of world leader in the West, specifically who either steps down from power or who is, you know, who passes away. Um, and this leader's loss is going to spark the fires of a lot of people, all right? Um, many, many people are going to be very, very angry about his passing or his demotion, whatever the fuck it is. Because I don't know if it's a passing or if he just steps down. It is a man. I do feel like it's a man who does this. Um, but there are going to be a lot of people who spread rumors, like there's going to be rumors that circulate about if it was intentionally done or not. So this could be a murder. Like this could be somebody who, um, this could be a world leader who gets killed. Maybe he dies under like mysterious circumstances and everybody starts asking questions. Well, like how the fuck did he die? Like, you know, maybe he was killed. Like maybe he was suicided or whatever, right? Um, or maybe he was intentionally demoted or maybe there was some kind of coup against him or whatever. Uh, but there is going to be a loss of a leader that is going to cause large-scale riots, okay? This is going to be something that really pisses a lot of people off. So just keep that in mind, guys. In August, a lot of people are going to be pissed because there's going to be the loss of somebody very influential. And I do believe it'll be a man. Um, there's also going to be a new social media platform that really takes off in 2023 and 2024. I honestly think it might be MySpace, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I actually got on MySpace the other day and something was telling me that MySpace's time is not over. It's actually going to regain popularity in the coming years. Uh, yeah, MySpace is going to rise again. I just have a fucking feeling, guys. If you, if you were on MySpace before MySpace died, you know it's top tier social media. Do you guys remember? You could have your own little cursors, you could have your own little playlist on your profile, you could have your backgrounds and everything. Like, it was top tier social media, okay? Where the fuck did that go? Why can't I decorate my profile like that anymore, you know? Social media platforms that we're using right now, specifically Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat, are going to be completely taken off the scene. Even YouTube, if I'm being honest, guys. So if you're a creator on YouTube, start thinking about other alternative platforms to post your content, um, because I don't think YouTube is going to have a lot of time left as its own individual platform. Now, what I mean by this is that um, there's going to be this new social media platform that rises and it's going to be the top used social media platform by 2025. And it feels specifically like a platform that essentially encapsulates it all. So it's got video, text posting, pictures, 
all of that stuff. It'll kind of be like a central hub for all content posting and all content distribution will go onto this social media platform. Um, it could be like a scenario where TikTok buys out Instagram and YouTube and it becomes this massive mega platform, but I don't know. There is going to be um, a shift in social media and I think that we're gonna see a lot of the common social media platforms used right now, like it's gonna, they're getting completely snuffed out by something else. Um, again, I think that there's going to be something that is going to overtake it all. So like something might buy out YouTube, like there might be a corporation that buys out YouTube, Instagram and Snapchat or, or something like that or buys them all and they all just kind of become one. So everything's going to become one. There's going to be a singular social media platform that everybody uses for everything. The content's not going to be distributed like over a bunch of different apps. It's not going to be like your eggs are in different baskets type of thing. It's going to be like this social media platform is going to encapsulate it all. It's going to have everything. Um, it's going to be the YouTube, the Instagram, the Facebook, the Twitter, the everything, the, all of that. It's going to encapsulate it all. And it's going to be the central hub for all of your content posting. But let's go ahead and look and see what the cards kind of have to say to clarify what I've already been picking up. So what's going to be happening in the year of 2023 on a worldwide scale um, that specifically impacts the United States and its residents? All right. Don't let your past hold you back. So there could be something about the past that comes up. People start talking about something um, that was not yet set in stone. So there's some kind of event that's happened. And I'll clarify this in a bit, whatever this event is. Something's happened in the past that is going to come back up in 2023. And it's going to get talked about again. Um, there's going to be an event, an issue that happened. It, it seems like it's all said and done. It seems like nobody gives a fuck about this anymore. And then all of a sudden, boom. It becomes trendy again and everybody starts talking about it again. Um, this could be like a Ghislaine Maxwell type of thing or like a Jeffrey Epstein type of thing where like, you know, everybody was talking about it and it was like this whole thing and then boom, everybody just goes silent and suddenly nobody gives a fuck anymore. Um, and then in 2023, something happens and, you know, people are talking about it again. So it's like one of those things. But let's see what this event is. It's going to be talked about in 2023 from the past. Adjustments are required. This could also be that stimulus check type of scenario that I picked up or whatever that uh, handouts, the handouts that I was picking up, debt forgiveness, loan forgiveness. Um, it could have to do with that as well, right? Because that's something that's already happened before. It's something we've already seen in the past. Yeah, look at this. Ace of Coins, Three of Swords. I'm telling you guys, I really think there's going to be some kind of handout that comes from a disappointment. It's like, oh, we're in a recession. Okay, here's some handouts. We're sorry. You know, we're sorry. We're, we're putting you guys in a state of poverty. Here's like, it, it, but it's not like a, it's not enough money to make somebody fully stable, right? Because they're not going to give you freedom. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, no, of course they're not going to give you freedom. They're only going to give you just a little bit just enough so that you're there craving more, right? Because that's how they operate. So whatever this handout is, it's not gonna be enough to sustain you. It's gonna be a little bit so that you're like, oh, well, you know, I can ignore a lot of the, the corruption that's happened because they're giving me money. So, you know, why not? It it's, might even be kind of like a hush-hush type of thing. Like, okay, look, we know we fucked up in this area, but here's some money, <laughs> you know what I mean? We're printing some money for you. We're making those money machines go brr. You know, it it's like that. So there is going to be some kind of disappointment that leads to a financial handout. I'm telling you guys, I really don't think the stimulus checks are over. I really think 2020 and 2021 were kind of like, um, almost kind of like a guinea pig. You know what I mean? Like a trial era, just to kind of see how it does, see how people respond, so that they can make it more of a normalized thing. What else is going to be happening in 2023? What can my collective expect this year? What can we anticipate be prepared for in the year of 2023? Oh, jeez. I'm going to shuffle these again. It's like sometimes these cards just don't want to do it. Expect powerful change. So we've got a total solar eclipse on April 20th, all right? 
So I, I kind of wonder, hey, 420, <laughs> I just barely noticed that. Um, so I kind of wonder if there's not gonna be something significant that happens around April 20th. Like there might be something that kind of comes out, something might get exposed, something might be seen, something may be released to the public. There might be some kind of files that get released around April 2023. What I'm picking up for this energy is that there's going to be something that is released to the public around eclipse season, um, around the solar eclipse on April 20th. Um, I believe there's going to be something that gets loose, something that gets released. It's not supposed to, all right? This is not supposed to be released to the public because if you look at these pictures, if you look at the iconography um, on these cards, look at this. Like, so there's this energy of this rabbit almost trying to like hold this kid hostage. You're not, not hold him hostage, but like, you know what I mean? Like he's wrapping a, a string around this kid's legs because he doesn't want him to continue walking. He doesn't want the kid to continue his descent or his journey. Um, maybe to go talk about some things that he's not supposed to fucking talk about. And then in the strength card, you got the girl wrangling this um, Amut, Amit, Amit the Devourer. If you guys know about, you know, Egyptian mythology, um, you've probably heard about Amit the Devourer, which is just this crocodile lion thing in Egyptian mythos. Um, but, you know, there, there's something that gets loose. They're trying to hold on to it. They're trying to keep it from getting loose. They're trying to keep this information from becoming released. Um, and, and it gets released. And for some, I, I really think this might be something kind of dark, if I'm, if I'm being quite frank. I think this might be some information that might be a little bit dark. Um, I'm hearing white rabbit, like it's it's something that like maybe a lot of conspiracy theorists have been talking about, like going down the rabbit hole type of thing. Like it might be something that many have explored while, in, you know, digging deeper into the rabbit hole. I don't fucking know. But I just know that there's going to be something that gets released. There's going to be some information that gets released to the public around April 2023, possibly the end of April, um, which I did pick up that energy of May there's going to be those two women that get exposed for murder and for hiring hitmen, so there might be something connected to that. A lot of stuff is going to come out this year, guys. Like, there's going to be a lot of things that get revealed, especially, especially once Pluto hits Aquarius. It's all over from there, guys. Like, the, we're, Pluto's getting out of Capricorn. The control is not there no more, okay? Aquarius is not a sign that likes to be controlled. Aquarius is literally the sign of anarchy, um, and it's the sign of freedom and, you know, free-spirited expression. It's very similar to Sagittarius energy. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of things that begin to reflect that on a societal level. Because Pluto is a generational planet, it affects us as a society. Um, so there's going to be some sort of shift, some kind of change around the time we see Pluto shift into Aquarius. It was originally in Capricorn, which is the sign of control and dominance and, you know, um, organizational structures, government organizations, um, all of that stuff. It's about order and structure and all of that stuff. It's about like, you know, even control and domination. So we're moving from that energy into Aquarius, the sign that's free spirited, it's anarchist, it's, it's doesn't abide to any rules or regulations. So we are going to see a lot of things go haywire in 2023. Once that transit happens, there's going to be a lot of things that I'm just hearing all hell breaks loose. So hold on to your britches because there's going to be a lot of shit that happens. Um, and, and for those who are truly connected and in tune, like you won't be impacted by this on a negative level. You know what I mean? Like you'll just kind of be able to watch from the sidelines. Um, those of us who are here watching this video are spiritually in tune and are connected. Like we will be able to just kind of witness all of this from the sidelines. We're not really going to be directly impacted by it to the point where it like does any harm you know what i mean like some of us may be impacted by it but it, it's not really going to do a whole lot of harm to a lot of our lives um but for those who are still kind of caught up in a lot of the bullshit from the media and they're they're still caught up in a lot of like the matrix as one would say um those people are going to suffer the most so you know do your diligence wake people up to the bullshit guys like stop caring about what others are going to think of you 
You know, if you see corruption happening, point it out to people. Let people know. Open their eyes. You know, that's probably the most beautiful thing you could do for somebody is to free them and to free their mind and free their soul. Um, so we've got a new romantic cycle begins. I'm telling you guys, there's going to be a major wedding that happens in 2023. I don't know if it's going to be like royalty um, or if it's going to be like, I'm talking, this is like, you know, Kate Middleton type energy. Like, you know, this is a really big wedding where everybody knows about it. Um, but again, like there might, this might be something where not everybody's on board for this. Like some people are like, why the fuck is this marriage happening? And hell, like maybe even the people involved in the marriage are like, why the fuck is this marriage happening? Yeah, look, you got the Hierophant. Yeah, you got the Nine of Coins and the Page of Swords. With the scales, this could also be something involving a policy that's implemented, or this could be something involving the justice system, the government, um, because it's Libran energy. Libran energy is all about justice, right? So there's going to be some kind of financial policy that's instilled um, that possibly allows people to find security, because you do have the nine of coins. So I'm telling you, like, there's so much confirmation in here around some kind of UBI or some kind of like handout. There's going to be a handout that happens and everybody's going to be talking about it. Everybody's going to know about it. Everybody's probably going to want in on it because who the fuck doesn't want free money, right? Um, so this is going to be something that possibly is even done, right? Because you have this new romantic cycle begins. This could possibly be a publicity stunt to make people like the government. <laughs> right? It's like, okay, you've already fucked us over. Um, you know, come on and, and give us your best shot. And that's what they're going to be doing. They're going to be trying to give handouts um, as a way to kind of get in people's good graces. All right. So just keep an eye out for that. I'm going to pull a couple more cards before I close out this session because I feel like I'm kind of starting to go in circles here. I think I've pretty much said everything that really needs to be said um, and, and things that you really need to be kind of looking out for in 2023. Um, those are really like all the things I've kind of picked up, but there's probably more stuff. It's just that for whatever reason, the same kind of messages are wanting to continue coming up. So I'm assuming that whatever's coming up is what's really important to keep in mind. And then everything else is just kind of maybe a byproduct or, you know, is maybe of lesser importance. So you got show the world the real you. Full moon in Aquarius. I'm telling you, there's going to be a serious, serious, serious shift and possibly even something getting exposed shortly after Pluto transits into Aquarius, March 23rd. Um, after March, guys, like in April and May, we're really like going to start to see a lot of stuff. Like things are going to pick up. It's going to get heated. Things are going to pick up um, and we're going to see a lot of shit happen uh, after that transit. Show the world the real you. So somebody is getting shown for who they are, okay? Somebody is going to get shown for who they are. And again, I think it's going to be some sort of message or there's going to be some kind of text message that's revealed or there's going to be some kind of email. It could also be an email. It doesn't necessarily have to be a text message. But it feels like a message is going to expose someone. It's going to expose something. Um... And something's going to start to move a lot quicker. So this could be something that we already know about. Like, again, this could be confirming something that conspiracy theorists, quote unquote, conspiracy theorists already knew before it happened. Um, because it seems like there's a lot of people who are like, I knew this was going to happen. Like, I was already aware that this was going to happen. Like, this is nothing new. This is old news. Okay, like, we've been new. Right? So... Big exposure is happening. Like somebody is getting fucking thrown under the bus and they're possibly throwing themselves under the bus too in the process of throwing this other person, their co-conspirator under the bus. So just keep that in mind, guys. Um, <clears throat> I also do feel like there's going to be a lot of people that purchase large amounts of real estate in 2023. Again, there's going to be something that puts a lot of people above the poverty line. All right. And with that, I think there's going to be a lot of people who start purchasing homes. A lot of people are going to start purchasing property. We do have this whole, um, you know, housing market situation. There's a lot of talk that the housing market's going to crash this year. 
um, and that it's going to dip really low. So that could be what I'm seeing. You know, it could just be a lot of people who are buying houses at a really low price or buying property at a really low price. But there is something about property and housing and a lot of people really pushing um, to either get housing or there could be some kind of federal housing scenario where like either the government pays out people's housing bills, kind of like they were doing during COVID. You know, they were trying they were trying to help people with uh you know, their, their rental payments and whatever, like the deferred payments and, and all of that. Like we might see something like that again. Um, or we could just see a scenario where, you know, there's a handout and people are now able to purchase property. People are now able to invest in property and homes and houses and all of that. So if you're in real estate, you know, you're in a good, you're in a good area right now. If you're looking to buy real estate in 2023, it's going to look pretty good for you. Um, so just keep that in mind. I think that will really start to happen around November, October, even like September towards the end of the year, maybe like the end of the summer, beginning of fall, you'll really, really begin to see housing prices drop like significantly. There's going to be a lot of people who purchase property in 2023. <clears throat> but that is what I'm seeing here, guys. Um, if you want to watch the more personally catered 2023 prediction that's also on my channel, you can go check that out whenever you'd like. Um, but leave a comment down below. What are your guys' 2023 predictions? What do you think is going to happen this year? I'd love to know. I love hearing your guys' perceptions and, you know, to hear everything that you guys have been channeling and experiencing. Share it in the comment box below. Let everybody know what you think is going to happen this year. Um, what are some of your 2023 predictions? But thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, guys. If you'd like to book a personal reading or purchase an affirmation tape, you can go to my website down below at madamdevoe.com, and you can check all of my stuff out there. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.